said uh, that a damage is not yet done, but an endangerment in an abstract sense exists. And with respect to so-called concrete endangerments, um, we can often find the example of an endangerment of traffic, Gefährdung des Straßenverkehrs, Weihai Jiaotong. And with respect to the environmental field, we often can, or not often, it's just an example that I have chosen here, uh, the leakage of the hazardous and fluid waste uh, illegally stored in a barrel. So in such cases, you see also that a damage is not yet done, but a concrete danger of a damage exists because, for instance, in this case of a leakage of the hazardous and fluid waste, um, yes, it's, this waste is also already leaked, and a danger is very, very, a damage is very, very near. So much nearer in such a case that it is in the case of only a storage of hazardous and fluid waste. So the example that I've given in the slide before. And just have a short look. Once more. No, once. So a consequence of such um, um, of uh, such um, regulation. So the, in the Chinese case, we only have, a, as I just told you, uh, we have only these concrete endangerments. And this means, as a consequence, uh, that only um, individual legal objects, individual Rechtsgüter, guilty journey, like for instance, asset, health, or life are protected, and not collective, uh, not the collective legal object, Kollektiv Rechtsgut Chunti uh, Chuani, which is called environment or nature landscape or so on. And <clears throat> this is a main difference, as I told you, with respect to uh, the case in Germany. So, to sum up this once more, <clears throat> I've made a small figure here. So, you see on the left side uh, this aspect of individual legal objects protection. And on the right side, uh, collective uh, legal objects protection. So this guilty to any bao hu. So this um, individual aspect is like, for instance, asset, health, or life, as I told you. And this is mainly in the field of civil law, and in China with respect to China and the environmental law, as I told you. And this uh, so-called junti juani bao hu is. Uh, for instance, in the cases of nature, landscape, but also, for instance, with respect to food safety and technical safety. So, cases um, or constellations in which everyone can be injured and not only an individual, or not only, um, yes, not only an individual. And this is with respect to environmental law in here in Germany. Okay, so let's go to the final part, the civil liability, Minfahrtsrein. So while we have a reference of many environmental laws in China to the criminal code in cases of criminal liability, we also have many references of uh, environmental laws to the Chinese civil law civil recht and minfa and with respect to the Chinese civil law we have to say that there is not yet a complete civil code like the German BGB existing uh, so a code that includes all main sectors of civil law like for instance family law, property law and so on and instead of that we have several singular civil laws and as a fundament, fundamental civil law, the so-called general principles of the general principles of the civil law, in German abbreviated as often abbreviated as AGZ, so Allgemeine Grundsätze des Zivilrechts, Minfahrtungze, first issued in 1986. And yes, during the last few years, we see something like a step by step approach by the Chinese legislators, so a step-by-step -step generation 
of a complete civil code because yes the C uh, not the CCP but yes the Chinese legislator releases only one law after another and like for instance most recently the property law in 2007 and also this uh, forthcoming new tort law um, of July 2010 so which will become which will come into force in around one week only and yes this uh, forthcoming new tort law um, has also a chapter about its chapter 8 about liability for environmental pollution and so we have here a new environmental liability Russian oh, I just forgot to show you this okay Have a look. Okay. And with respect to environmental civil liability, we have uh, three directions um, to which civil uh, liability aims. And this is first omission, unterlassung, uh, uh, second compensation, schadensersatz. Uh, and third reinstatement with the Herstellung Fu Yuan Zhuang. So three directions um, at which civil liability aims and with respect to uh, this uh, civil liability we have or with, with respect to liability in general we have a main differentiation, and this is very important, and you will find this always in the literature. Um, on the one side, we have so called fault liability, Verschuldensabhängige Haftung, Verschuldenshaftung, go towards the ran. So, of, in such cases, a fault is a prerequisite for being liable. And on the other side, we have uh, this case of strict liability. Verschuldensunabhängige Haftung or Gefährdungshaftung in German, which uh, Zirren in Chinese, also called in German Haftung ohne Verschulden. And so in such case, a fault is not a prerequisite for being liable. So this might sound a little bit strange for the first, if you hear this the first time, but this is also very logic. And uh, this form is of uh, this form of liability is especially predominant in environmental law. Uh, but also, if you think of cases such as keeping a car in traffic, or keeping a pet, and other cases, because you are not uh, for you, it's not your fault if your animal causes a damage. It's actually the fault of the of the animal, but. He cannot be liable, so the keeper of a pet can be made liable. So in environmental law, we have this, as I just told you, the strict liability, and this is stipulated in Article 68 of this uh, new tort law, Delictgesetz, Chinchuan, Zerenfa, first coming in July 2010. To have a short look, because I can see this here. Um, so, yes, another another um, important thing is uh, this case of proof of the causality, Verursachung Kausalität Yingguang Guanxi. This is a main problem in environmental civil liability.